Hypersonic missiles from China and Russia pose a menace to the US and Japan due to their unprecedented speed and maneuverability. This enables them to evade existing defense systems and strike critical military and civilian targets with little warning. There is an urgency for Japan and the US to develop a system that can prevent these interceptors. These countries are considering joint development of hypersonic missile defense systems to counter the growing threat of these weapons. Hypersonic weapons travel at speeds above Mach 5, making them difficult to counter. Boost Glide hypersonic weapons are particularly challenging to defend against, due to their unique flight profile and ability to execute sudden, high-speed turns. Hypersonic missiles can potentially penetrate existing air and missile defense systems, leaving military bases, civilian infrastructure, and strategic assets vulnerable to attack. The rapid development and deployment of hypersonic missiles could disrupt the strategic balance between major powers, increasing the likelihood of miscalculations or inadvertent escalation in times of crisis. The proposed defense system aims to shoot down hypersonic weapons, specifically those that glide through the atmosphere in flight. Japan is working on a larger rocket motors, designed to power a hypersonic interceptor, which is derived from the SM-3 ballistic missile interceptor. Both countries face threats from Chinese and North Korean hypersonic weapons, which offer defenders very little reaction time. U.S. military bases across Asia, including Kadena Air Base, Yokota Air Base, and Fleet Activities Sasebo, are vulnerable to hypersonic weapon attacks. The war in Ukraine highlights the need for defenses against non-nuclear weapons, such as the Chinese DF-17 hypersonic weapon. As part of counter-offensive and an alternate plan, Japan is also set to develop railguns to counter hypersonic missiles. Japan is focusing on railgun technology that can launch projectiles with power generated when an electric current is applied to a magnetic field. The projectiles are faster than those shot from conventional intercept systems and can be fired continuously. Railguns can also shoot interceptors at different speeds. By manipulating the amount of electrical power they apply, operators can adjust how fast an interceptor travels. Together with long-range missiles, the next-generation system will provide Japan and U.S. allies with multi-layered intercept capabilities. USA and its allies have very less time to develop a comprehensive defense setup against raising hypersonic attack threats. Hypersonic weapons, which travel faster than five times the speed of sound, are thought to be close to coming into practical use. China was able to fire a missile from a glide vehicle traveling at hypersonic speeds over the South China Sea. North Korea has claimed that a missile it launched into the Sea of Japan in September 2022 was a hypersonic device. Russia has already deployed multiple hypersonic missile systems across the country. Developing effective countermeasures against hypersonic missiles is a complex and expensive endeavor, putting strain on defense budgets and technological capabilities. Hypersonic missiles provide adversaries with the ability to launch devastating, preemptive strikes against critical military and civilian infrastructure, undermining the deterrence capabilities of the US and Japan. In conclusion, the US and Japan is making significant progress in developing its Glide Phase Interceptor GPI, program to counter the hypersonic missile threats from China and Russia. The plan aims to create a multi-layered defense system that integrates satellite-based sensors, ground radar, and other military weapon systems to detect, track, and potentially intercept and destroy hypersonic missiles. Thanks for watching.